Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Navani. I am the tie guy. This is my YouTube channel and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie not known to man and I'm bringing them to you. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. This time I've got one that I learned, well, I saw a picture on Instagram on Clarence Garraway's Instagram channel called Tai Chi Master, but it's spelled with, you know, like necktie, tie, underscore chi, underscore master. So if you want to look for him, you can check him out on Instagram. But he invented, or somebody suggested calling this new invention that he came up with, the Typhoon Knot. I think that's the most epic name, and I love the play on words. So, anyhow, I want to show you how to do that right now. Alright, here we go. This is the little end, that's the long end. This is the big end, it's going to be just a little bit above my belt line. Alright, let's take the big end, make a dimple. We're going to bring this to the center. Take the little end, we're going to cross over top. It's a really simple beginning. Feed it up through the back of your neck hole and across from the side that it came from, like so. From here, we're going to start aiming downwards and then we're going to build back up to make this typhoon knot. So the little end is going to come around in behind, in behind my necktie, but I want to aim it down already. So it's going to come around. And we're still sort of aiming downwards on the second pass, so cross over the front again. And here I want to level out. So here I'm going to cross around the back, wrap around the back again, and in the front. So this is the very bottom of our typhoon here. Now at this point, I want to fold my necktie in half so the seam side is on the inside. And I want to twist it so the smooth side is down and the open side is up. So from here, we can start aiming a little bit on a, a little bit on an angle. We're going to bring it in behind, keep it folded. I'm not going up yet, but I'm just lifting it up a little bit so it, I can end up seeing the very bottom of the typhoon. So from here, we're going to cross around. We're going to go around four times, but we're going to stack it every time. Oh, see, I wanted to twist it over here to hide this sort of fold that happens. All right, now I'm good again this part this is all you know fairly tight snug I want to get this bottom bottom wrap around fairly tight because this is gonna hold your typhoon together and it's gonna come up on it on a small angle if it's 45 degrees that might be too much so it's gonna start traveling upwards keeping it folded let's see mine came undone there and as you come up, I'm going to keep my thumb and forefinger here so it doesn't fall down on me. As you come up, I, I tend to, to get this sort of like widening look. I start wrapping it looser and looser every time. Oh, but now it seems like my fold is getting loose. All right. So it's going to be a little bit looser. Wrap it around again. It's going to go around four times. So if it falls down, you can push it up a little bit like I just did. This side's going to be even looser again, and then that top one, if you've gone too far down, you won't be able to cover this part, the very top of your knot, like so. So you can fiddle around with that if you have some of the seams maybe may not be exactly the way you like it to have a clean finished look. And here I find that I end up doing it too tight where I need to loosen up to sort of gain that funnel look of the typhoon and then when you're done you tuck it into your collar and that's it so grab your typhoon pull on the your necktie cinch it up to your neck you might want to wrap this one through your collar like so that'll keep it in place there you go typhoon knot that is how the Typhoon Knot is done. I think it's really cool. If you guys have any inventions of your own, you can email me or uh, Facebook message me is a great place to send me uh, uh, new inventions. If it's a picture diagrams, that's okay, that works, but a YouTube video or a video link works really well for me. It makes it easier for me to learn. Um, yes, but if you want to share your Instagram photos of your Typhoon Knot, tag, please don't forget to tag me or you can post it right on my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.